So today's video is a review of this thing, the Stampede. But as you can see, it is the same very one that I did a Hydro Dip video on. And it is awesome. <laughs> like, really, really, Awesome. So, before I get into firing demonstrations, and for firing demonstrations, I will be using these two darts, the uh, Waffles and Adventure Force Waffles, as well as an 18 round magazine full of regular standard Nerf darts firing out of this thing. But, for a firing demonstration. But before I do, I wanna just give a general overview of what this thing is rocking, because it is rocking. We have, we have a standard barrel, nothing fancy in the, for the barrel area, but things start to get interesting around here. All the locks inside of this thing are taken out, and there are tons of switches and locks in here, so it will, runs way better without them. But, I added a charging handle because I've always wanted to charge my Nerf blasters. But uh, yeah, so I added a charging handle for funsies, just a funsies charging handle for funsies because that is epic. The spring mechanism is just the standard spring mechanism. But my friend, I did the paint job, but the friend I collaborated this project with, he did the internals. But yeah, both sides. He did the internals and he put in metal gears, metal gears and a 3S LiPo and rewired everything. So it runs wonderfully like that. But I had to figure out in terms of internal stuff, he was good with flywheel stuff, uh, motor, electric stuff, but I was good with flywheel stuff. So this thing suffered a lot with the catch mechanism, catch and release mechanism. So this thing to after this thing took me a long ass time to get the kinks worked out of it. I ended up having to uh, increase how far down the uh, catch would drop because it wasn't going down enough. It kept on slipping because of the 24 kilogram spring that this thing is rocking. And there is no more air restrictor in here too. So that's a lot of pressure. So I had to increase the length of the uh, spring but that uh, and increase the strength of the spring for the catch as well because well it wasn't strong enough so i had to do that to the spring but then the pusher mech that would catch on to the plunger area that pushed forward wasn't going far enough forward thanks to the metal gears then that was fixed but then it wasn't now it isn't uh it wasn't strong, the spring in there wasn't strong enough to push back and reset. So I actually took a pen spring and replaced the old spring with a pen spring. So now I have like dozens of springs and screws just everywhere from this thing. It's crazy. And on top of that, sometimes I would get it working and it would get busted. So I have got, I have unscrewed this thing and rescrewed this thing up so many times that I can unscrew every single screw in and outside of this blaster in under 10 minutes. Yeah. So I have a lot of practice now with taking this thing apart and putting it back together. So if you do this mod, expect everything to go wrong. And I seriously mean everything. Also, we don't, we aren't using the full 24 kilogram spring. We cut it down to about the length of the plun, of the plunger tube. So it, the 24 kilogram spring is about that long. Uh, for a root, let's take a ruler. So it's about 10 inches long. We cut it to about five inches long. So almost in half. So yeah, just, it will not work with a full 24 kilogram spring. So we cut it in half and it's rocking that. 
in terms of what else? Yeah, all the wiring is being held in place with hot glue. There's a lot of hot gl glue st sticks in here. It's a lot of, to get this thing to work, it takes a lot of patience, jerry-rigging, and just determination. So prepare, if you do do this mod, which it is totally worth it. Again, roll the clip, roll the clip. <laughs> there, that should be evidence enough for it to just be worth it. Uh, another thing is the um, motor in here does not like 3S. It overheats quite, it overheats relatively fast. So run like, you can run like six mags of six 18 round mags out of this thing. Well, but after, after that, I would, I would stop because I don't, like, like it's $140 for all the internals. So just keep that in mind. $140 for all the internals plus the Nerf Blaster itself. Just keeping that in mind when you do do this mod. And um, yeah, this thing was busted before I started working on it. If you saw me trying to fix it, there is a video for that in my channel if you want to check it out. But, uh, so yeah, it, it took a lot of jury rigging to get this thing working. And if you want to do the, um, the charging handle, just like that, you'll need, this is just a standard hardware spring in here. The standard issued hardware spring and the charging handle is made out of four layers of PLA plastic. Glued together and then cut out and then sanded like the living daylights out of there and then painted and it is being held in there with hot glue and screws. You'll, if you are going to use the screws, you'll have to sand them, um, grind them down with a Dremel to make them flush. So yeah, as well as here, you'll have to cut into the shell right here so that it can go back enough. But uh, yeah, just keep that in mind when Keep those things in mind when doing this the, this mod. It is a fantastic mod. It is a fun mod. You still get all of your Nerf and Strike Rails. Feel free to switch those out to Picatinny, but I kept them and Strike Rails. So yeah, enough of me blabbering about this thing. Let's go do a couple of firing demonstrations. I will see you out on the range. All right, here we are at the range. Starting off with standard nerf and strike trash. Now, I have also learned to make sure that your magazines slide in nicely because that will jam up the gears. So make sure your magazines slide up nicely for this. More on final thoughts, but let's just dump this 18 round mag on Clone Trooper Bob. This is going to suck for him, let me tell you that. That was epic. Oh man, I freaking love this thing. This thing rat tat tats like a machine gun. Waffle heads from Adventure Force. Here we go. Now that's what I like to see. And last but not least, regular waffle heads. Nice and fancy. Here we go. <laughs> Wreck everything. This thing's a monster. All right. On to the bench for final thoughts.
Okay, alrighty, we're here for final thoughts. Now, oh my gosh, this thing is a true monster. This thing is an absolute beast and is like so much fun. I cannot elaborate on how much fun this thing is to shoot. I just love dumping mags with this thing. This thing just dump, you can dump mags for days with this thing. It is fantastic, so much fun. But, let's go over the quick don'ts of this mod. Don't expect it to work first try. Uh, oh, or the do's and don'ts. Uh, always, never expect it to work first try. Uh, never half-ass it. Uh, make sure you're prepared to jerry-rig the living daylights out of this. Uh, if you are a Springer guy, work with a f with an electric guy. If you're an electric guy, work with a Springer guy. Um, make sure you do a kick-ass paint job. Um, AK load your magazines, and what I mean by that is locking in the front and then sliding it up in. I it tends to wor work more reliably. Uh, never. If the magazine doesn't feed it, it doesn't feel right, doesn't load in smoothly, don't shoot it. It will uh, jam up the gears, so I'll have to take it all apart, put it back together again. Uh, uh, I could go on for a little bit longer, but I'm not. You get the idea. But once you're done, all of that, and when you get it working, <laughs> it is like a dream. Yeah, it doesn't work as... Um, it might not work as reliably as some other nerf guns but uh my friend he chronographed this when we got it working and uh 120 fps at best at best sometimes if you get a, a bad dart where the tips are about to fall off like um like this isn't a good example, but uh, sometimes the, the uh, glue well right here will come out and uh, the air will escape because there's so much air pressure. Sometimes it'll do this to your dart, like just absolutely just chew it up. So yeah, like I have a couple darts on my bench that are just absolutely chewed up from this thing. So if that happens, it will shotgun it and you'll get terrible FPS. But bear low, 75, uh, top was um, 120. And man, oh man, when you get it working reliably, that 120 pops up a lot more. So this thing is so much fun, so awesome. You should probably do yourself a favor and um, do a mod with an easier simpler nerf blaster like a springer where tutorials are easier to follow you have your general steps it's not that hard but um yeah when you're working on something like this uh either do it as a pair as a team or you're going to be you you should probably be experienced as hell with this thing because oh boy he he's good with electric but when it came to the uh to the catch mechanisms in this thing he had no idea what he was doing so that's where i came in but uh yeah it was it was a lot of fun uh collaborating with my buddy to do this so collaborating with this project is a lot of fun doing this project is a lot of fun the final results is a lot of fun and makes everything totally worth it so if you're willing to put in that 140 dollars uh and uh lots of time and effort and taking it apart and putting it back together about 130 times well then go ahead and have fun it is totally worth it the charging handle is so much fun the charging handle dumping mags is so much fun so much fun did i say it was so much fun because it was so much fun uh thank you so very much for watching this mod what should i nickname this thing to uh, I'll find a nickname for it because, oh boy, oh boy, it's just awesome. Expect it to be in more videos in the future because I will beat 
damned. I'll be damned if I don't do it. So, um, yeah, expect it to be in more videos in the future because uh, I think it's my number one, number two favorite Nerf gun, aside from my Annihilator because it looks like an AR-15 and uh, that's kind of epic. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, tell me what you think about the mod. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we really did go above and beyond on this one. Alright, thanks for watching for the third time. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and dump mags for days. Peace.